So here I am, lovely sunny day on the Costa del Sol. Uh, I'm here with my colleague Joyce Little. Hello, Hello. Joyce. And we are on our way to, where are we on our way to? Zagaleta. La Zagaleta, yeah. So we're on the Ronda Road at the moment. For those of you who know this stretch of road, it's the Ronda Road. We're just, uh, we've come up from San Pedro, there or thereabouts, and we are passing, just past Zagaleta, the south entrance, and we're just passing the six entrances to El Madronel. Um, so here we go, entrance four of El Madronel, two more to go, and then we will be, we will shortly be in Zagaleta. And we're coming up here today because we've been asked by a client who's based in the States to check out a house that is available. And this client, um, he doesn't want anything hugely big or fancy, does he? He just wants... Correct, that's right. And he does like the traditional Andalusian style of right. property. Mm -hmm. And he will be coming here with his his pets, mm -hmm. his very special pets. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he is coming to live here permanently. Right, okay. So he's asked us, because obviously he's based thousands of miles away, he's asked us to come and check out this house for him today. There's also one other one he wants us to check, so we might be back here later in the week. But this one today, uh, we're meeting the um, sales manager of La Zagaleta, Olga, who's going to show us around. And uh, the great thing is that we have a really good relationship with the people at La Zagaleta. We are one of their very few exclusive uh, sales partners, which means that they trust us to market their, their listings. And it also means that when we have a client, or when we need something like this doing, they are very attentive and when we have a client they, they you know, we often go for lunch with the clients and the people from Zagaleta they show us the all the facilities the clubhouse the equestrian center and obviously the properties but it means that we're with the same people throughout the tour we're not hopping from agent to agent to agent which we found works really well because the, the client doesn't want to be bothered about seeing tens of different agents for different properties they just want to see the experts and so yeah we have a really good strong relationship with uh, La Zagaleta and um, we are looking forward to seeing them again now so this is the the final little bit of stretch of the Ronda Road as we pass El Madronel now and we will be coming to the main entrance which is the north entrance Joyce have you got your passport I certainly do yeah because the, the thing about Zagaleta is it's probably the the toughest security uh, to get through on the Costa del Sol. You know, it's acknowledged as one of the most exclusive addresses in Europe. And so people don't want to be pried upon. They want their privacy and their security. They don't want any Sean or Joyce turning up, do they? <laughs> no. Certainly not uninvited. That's right. So we have to show our, our credentials and uh, that can take a short time or a long time, depending on um, whether we've got them and depending on who we get at the gate. But the security are good, and, and I think it's very nice for residents and owners to, to know that they are policing and vetting everyone who enters the resort. Um, so here we are, we're just about to turn left into Zagaleta. This is the main uh, entrance as well for anyone reporting, uh, anyone who needs to go and do a job. So any of the tradesmen, for instance, have to go through this gate. There is a southern entrance, which is for residents only. So if you have a villa, uh, or a plot uh, towards the southern the southern entrance to the resort, then it probably makes sense to just go in there. But we are going in the main the main way today. So here's the man. Here's the man with the gun. Don't mess with him. Passport control. Passport control. This is it. Any sharps? <laughs> oh, look at your passport. Yes, it looks a little bit Ireland. Abused. You know, I'm learning something new about this one every day. <laughs> there's me thinking she was Canadian. Yeah. Appears not. Hola. Tengo una reunión con Olga. Ah, con Olga. Sí. There you go. That was, I had a meeting with Olga. I can just about manage to say that. The complicated bit is when he starts talking to me. That's that's when that's when it's going to get. Wooly, sí. Y mi uh, compañero. Joyce. Joyce, sí. Gracias. So you have me on the list. We were on the list. Yeah, that's. that's it's, like getting into the, it's like getting into the best nightclub in town, isn't it? It is. It's quite exciting. Yeah. No jeans, though. We're not in Jeep, but we're nope. on. Nope. So now we're just waiting for the barrier to, to go up and then we'll be through into Zagaleta. Yay! Do you know what the stupid thing is though, doing this job, we kind of take this for granted yeah. that we are entering one of the most exclusive addresses probably in the world. It's just like, oh, what a schlep. 
I know, but I have to say that. The la oficina de venta, sí. Perfecto, okay. gracias. Gracias. But you know, I, that is true. However, each time you come up, you just you do then also, you know, are reminded of how spectacular this yeah, development is. is. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to film today because they're very um, hot on things like this, aren't they? Yes. So the uh, I call them the Zagaleta police sometimes because they, and you know what? I don't blame them. It's absolutely right. They don't like people kind of poking their cameras and their noses in places. So this is the, um, the little sales office that they have, which is rather cute, nice place to bring clients. And we're just going to park in the visitor bay. There we go. We'll get back to you shortly. Okay, so we are about to crash the car. No, we're not. We're on the road and we are going to see this house in La Zagaleta for this client in the States. So the house isn't in the best of condition. It's not one of the all singing, all dancing, Lamborghini, Ferrari kind of houses that other agents get to see on a daily basis. Joyce, <laughs> no, but that, not that we're bitter. No, no, no. But it has a lot of potential. Yeah. It's tremendous potential. Yeah. And if that's what this guy's looking for, he doesn't need a huge house. And the problem is with Zagaletta is that very often the houses are huge. So if it's just one or two of you and a few pets, it's, it can be too big. So, you know, people, we do have a few clients actually looking for something just a little bit smaller, a little bit rustic and not silly, silly prices. So. That's what we're doing today, really. Exactly. So at least you're getting a little look at the landscape. We might see a couple of deer. For luck, we don't run them over. <laughs> but there's different types of houses. You've been up here quite a few times now, haven't you? And there's there's all sorts of different types and different budgets. They range from about three million upwards to in excess of thirty million. Gulp. And rustic style, Andalusian style, classical style, modern super modern so there's something for everybody if you have that sort of money and views can be of the the golf course it can be of the mountains it can be of the sea and all three we're just actually going into the heart of, of the resort here the resort has two golf courses i suppose what we call the old course and the new course really both 18 holes it has an equestrian center where you can stable your own horse or you can borrow one or more of there. There's a helipad so um, and what is good is that recently they actually had an agreement with a, a helicopter company so there's pretty much a helicopter here all the time so if you fancy going and having lunch with your pals in Seville or going to a meeting in Marrakesh you can just call up the helicopter and you can be there in an hour. Yeah, How cool is that? It's very convenient. It's very convenient and there's also a clubhouse which has a lovely bar and restaurant. There's also a members' night uh, once a week. Tennis, paddle. You have, you've got tennis and paddle. There's a pool at the clubhouse. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So if you fancy being sociable, uh, if you've got kids and you want to, you know, uh, you don't want to go to each other's houses, then you can do that. And also the new golf course, there's another clubhouse there as well. So there's, there's plenty to do here. And obviously, as I mentioned earlier, there's the 24 hour security which is very, very good. And I, oh, Olga did mention how many kilometers of road in here. Is it 80 kilometers? Something crazy, you wouldn't believe, but all the roads are very well done. They're all like this, but there's a lot of them. So, you know, sometimes you can live in Zagaleta and you can be 15 minutes from the gate once you're inside. That's true. So it becomes sensitive about things like views and size and privacy and also the distance from the gate, because obviously if you're up and down the Ronda Road three times a day with kids, ferrying them to tennis and basketball and piano and God knows what, then uh, you've got to take that into account as well. And this is where the guys from Zagaleta are really good because they, they're very honest and open. They'll tell you the pros and cons because no house is perfect. It doesn't matter if you're spending 300,000 or 30 million, it doesn't matter. No house is perfect and there's always a compromise and they're always very honest about uh, what, you know things to look out for. That's true. And also very good at making suggestions on how to improve potentially the mm, property. Mm. And also because they have access to all the stock here, if you see something and you're not quite sure of it, they'll also, once they get a feel for what you like and don't like, they'll be able to suggest alternatives. You see, Joyce knows what she's looking for. I haven't got a clue where we're going <laughs> you, because you've been dealing with this client. So you kind of, you'll know the house when you see it. I, 
I think so. You hope so. <laughs> I won't have a clue. I'll probably go driving straight on, straight onto the golf course. The uh, these, hear that? All right, that's a cattle cattle grid. Yes. That's to stop the the deer from getting into certain places within the resort. Um, although they're encouraged to roam freely, they're not encouraged to go on the golf course, obviously. And also any wild boar that are around, you don't want them on the golf course because they'll just dig it up. So uh, yeah, it, it's very cleverly managed, the estate, so that uh, the animals are kept in various zones. Are we nearly there? Do I need to I stop talking? I believe it's this house coming up on oh, the right. Oh. We might be um, unable to video the actual house because obviously people here, they don't want their stuff videoed with no. Lily. Well, and this property in particular is not officially on the market. Ah, uh -huh. so we, we have need to turn the camera access. off now. Yes. Okay, so this might be as far as we can take you for now because the rest of it is for clients' eyes only. So we're back and we've just been to see the um, the villa. And the reason we couldn't show you the villa quite, as we said, was because it's not on the market. So the owner doesn't want anyone poking around and sort of t alerting people that it could be available for sale. So what did we think? Interesting house, yeah? Yes, very interesting house. It has a very different style, especially in Zagaleta. I'd say it's probably quite unique for this development. Oh yeah has a, an American architectural feeling to it. Yep. A lot of potential. Yeah, I agree. We had some clients, didn't we, a couple of months ago who would have loved that house. I mean, it's, it was out of budget, but they would have loved the architectural style. So now we are just departing Zagaleta. So unfortunately, you're getting the, um, the, the, the bread of the sandwich, you're not getting the filling. <laughs> Well but that's just the way it goes. I'm so sorry, but we will be back, I think, later this week, looking at another house there for the same clients, I think. I'm just saying goodbye to the guards in case you're wondering if I'm going mad. And we are back on the Ronda Road. So there you go. That was all very painless. Lovely to see Olga and her colleague. So we're going to drop Joyce down to where she's parked her car in the Venta Los Almendros. And then what have you got on today? Anything? Back, back to the office because it's quite office, we're very yeah. busy with clients these days aren't we, we? Are. we've had a very busy week the last week because it was this kind of the second week of east the easter holidays but i noticed yesterday doesn't everything just go <sighs> yes it was unbelievable i was driving along the golden mile and you know the last weekend before that was heaving and queues everywhere yesterday was delightful but i bet the airport was hideous yeah because i think right. everyone was going home yeah because you had clients last week who bought, didn't you? When, when were they leaving? Tomorrow, actually. Oh, okay. They're here They're for one tomorrow. more day. Oh, yes. okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so this is the kind of calm before the, the summer uh, when everyone obviously descends here. Um, but it's uh, it's nice. But yeah, we're getting a lot of clients out. You get different types of clients at different times. So the last couple of weeks with the Easter holidays, we've had a lot of uh, clients with kids, grown-up kids, school-age kids. Uh, now we'll probably get clients who are able to take holidays out of out of school time. So yeah, you get different different types of clients. Different. That's like this guy, isn't it? I don't think he's got kids. He's coming over just to have a look for himself, isn't That's he? That's right, correct. In May. So yeah, anyway, we are going to say goodbye. We are on the road down to the coast, on the Ronda Road. It's a sunny, warm day. It's 18 degrees. Uh, summer hasn't really started yet, but it's kind of pushing, isn't it? We're getting there, I think. And hopefully we will... Uh, We'll get some great weather. I think it starts next week, doesn't it? I think this week's still got a bit of rain. It Just does. Know what's going on. I know, but you know what? If you look at the landscape as we drive here, everything is lush and green. It is. It is actually. I looked from my terrace in Monte Mayor, I looked across the, the Verdant Valley <laughs> and thought, wow, yeah, it's extremely green. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we shouldn't moan, should we? We always I'm British, I can moan about the weather. So that's a hobby, <laughs> isn't it? It's like it's all we do. What's this place here on the right? That's going up quickly, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's a new restaurant. Yeah, the El Cotto. This used to be the hangout for anyone in Zagaleta Madronal. This used to be the place to go and eat. And um, they've been doing it up for the last year or so. So interested to see what that's going to become. Anyway, we will shut up now. So have a lovely day, one and all. And we will see you on the other side.